Hi, this is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. If you've been watching some of the news organizations over the last six months, you'd think that this car should wind up in some salvage yard being crushed into a tin can. But the fact is, it's one of the most versatile and amazing vehicles on the market today. And it's going to change the way we do business in this country and the world. Before we get into all the benefits of the vehicle, let's just talk briefly about how the vehicle works. It's an all electric car, up until the point where the battery dies down, and then there is what they call an extended range, but it's essentially it's a backup gas motor. So that's all you need to know. Everything you've heard on television, that it's, not, it's a hybrid, it's not an electric vehicle, and all this other nonsense, this is how it works. It'll do the first 25 to 50 miles on all electric. And then after that, if you need to go further, you use a gas motor. It's that simple. But the real great benefit is that 70 to 80 percent of all Americans drive less than 40 miles a day. So for most people, you'll never have to use gas. So why is not using gas a good thing? Uh, if we have to answer that one, I suppose we're in bigger trouble than I thought. But the fact is, we send $1 billion a day to the Middle East for oil. So I'm thinking, if we can buy electricity made here in America, that's a good thing. And speaking of countries that feed our addiction to oil, did you know that Mexico is our second largest supplier? They have been pumping from the supergiant reserve called the Cantarell oil field. Well, guess what? That field peaked in 2004-2005 and is now in terminal decline. Terminal. Yeah, that's never a good word. So it's estimated that within six months to two years, Mexico won't be able to export oil. So think about that for a moment. Where on earth are we going to find a new number two supplier? As we know, electricity is not a resource, but a form of energy. Therefore, by switching a vehicle that runs on a form of energy, we can now use any resource in order to power it. And we now can choose resources that are domestic, produce American jobs, make our country more secure, keep our air and water clean, slow down climate change, and lessen the need to have American troops securing land overseas in order to protect our oil interests. And there's even clean and safe nuclear power. Uh, yeah, well, uh, maybe not. There is also a lot of talk about what our existing grid can handle as more and more electric vehicles hit the road. And there is no doubt in my mind that we will need to adapt along the way. However, think about this amazing statistic. This is from 2007, electricity consumption for petroleum refineries. The U.S. ranks number one in the world for using over 49 billion kilowatt hours. So one electric vehicle, roughly speaking, will use about 3,000 kilowatt hours to go 12,000 miles. That means the electricity alone that we use to refine petroleum each year could drive over 16 million electric cars 12,000 miles each year. And that doesn't include the electricity used in oil extraction, pumping, and transportation. All right, so let's get back to the Volt and its $41,000 price tag. Yes, it's expensive and not at the price point of mainstream America. But everyone needs to understand this is groundbreaking technology, the first of its kind. Remember this high tech electronic device? This would have cost you two or three thousand dollars when it first came out. Now at Best Buy it's twenty bucks. So here's my car again and this is how it served me over the last month and a half. As you can see, I've driven the vehicle 1,589.3 miles, and I've used 4.2 gallons of gas. Actually, I only used 3.2 gallons because one gallon of gas was already used prior to buying the vehicle. And actually, all the gas that I have used is from the gas that the dealer put in the car when I picked it up at the lot. So up until this point, I've never been to a gas station. And when the news starts talking about Qaddafi and the Middle East and that a gallon of gas could go to four or five dollars a gallon, it doesn't even phase me. 
All right, so here's the icing on the cake. I don't go to the gas station. I don't pay for gas. I don't support foreign countries who don't like us. I don't even pay for the electricity. I make it here. This car runs by the sun. Now, of course, it's physically impossible to always charge from the sun because of weather conditions and so forth. But we've switched to off-peak billing. And when we charge at night, it's significantly less expensive. So there you have it. I'm not sure I could lay out a better case as to why the United States has to change to a cleaner domestic energy source, or how much better a setup you could have than I do at my home. The point is, I'm doing it, it's not far-fetched, and we could start switching over tomorrow. And if I still haven't convinced you, how about it's one of the nicest cars you've ever driven? about the Chevy Volt, EV charging, solar power, or sustainability, visit me at njrenewableenergy.com.